Howdy. So, uh, Zojo just came out with their iOS version, and we have it here on the screen. It's kind of confusing because there's not much information really on it. They do have a uh, help for it. Um, it's kind of hard to find, uh, but this is through their help uh, information. Um, and it's not, uh, I mean, there is like some information here on how to get started. But it's very, um, it's very limited in information. Um, so I've been trying to do uh, a tab bar example, or just trying to figure out how to do a tab bar. And when I brought up the controls, um, up here they are, uh, there is no, uh, under the viewers, you have HTML, um, image, and a table, and that's it. And then you have uh, these here. Um, if you look in here, um, obviously you could code, like hard code, a, a tab in, which I tried to do, which doesn't actually work. Um, they have an example of a tab view here, uh, which came with it. And as you can see, there is no code whatsoever in this example that they have. Um, and I've gone through the inspector all the way through. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out for almost like three hours trying to figure out how to add a tab. Well, I finally figured it out. So I figured, let's document this one. Um, you see here, let's go to actually my setup here. Well, we could do it from their setup, but... We can see it from here. If you click on this thing here, it says iPhone screen or iPad screen. This is where you actually set up the tab uh, tab interface. See here we have, because I did add two views. I have view one, view two. I didn't label them anything specific because I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. But um, if you go into I, iPhone screen and you say tabs, like this all of a sudden it sets it up into a tab view and then you can edit your different tabs and you can set which view down here is zero so this would be zero and then number two would be uh, the next one over now I don't have any icons or not but we could test it and see if it runs okay so it says uh, we have to select a view for one which I believe we did that well I <clears throat> I did select a view I selected this one um, and I selected this for two well maybe I have to go no? Okay, well. Yeah, zero, one. First one is this. That should work. You must select a view for tab one. I just did that. <laughs> it's view two. Uh, but as you can see, it like it doesn't allow you to do that. This is just for uh, icons, which we really don't need. Nah, 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 nah. See, it's still not doing it. So, uh, so here I figured out you can use tabs. This would be view zero. This would be view one, obviously. No. Um. Hmm. See how confusing it is. Um, it'd be so much easier if they just had like a tab thing you could slide over, uh, kind of work like the toolbar did in uh, Mac OS X. They don't have anything like that. Um, and there's no way to program it in, which kind of seems stupid. Um, so yeah, it's lacking a lot of information. So you can see right now I'm going through how the heck do you add a tab. Uh, panel to a view. So now you see one here, but 
Um, so the information that they give you to get you started here is a bunch of foobar. It's it's not good. Um, they just released it with really no information whatsoever on how to really do anything. I mean, I think um, adding like tab panels and other views and stuff like that, basic stuff should be documented, and it's not. Um, you know, so like, you know, Mac OS 10. If I want to add a tab panel, I just drag it from all my library. Or same thing with Xcode. You know, it's very simple to add. Um, <clears throat> they do have um, basically, if you want to add another view, you just keep having what looks like windows here. And it keeps adding a nerve view. So each view is one of these little window things. I get that point. But if you want to tab between your views, and let's go and actually look at their example here. And I still don't understand how this is working because if we go into their screen thing here. Oh, wait a second, I got two of them. Oh, well, how the heck did they get two of them? Let's try that again. So we have view one. Oh, see, we got three views in here. See? We have three views, so we have the same thing they have in their example. Their example works fine, so let's just launch it and see how their thing is working. I just got an iPhone 4S uh, simulator up right now. Uh, it'll launch here in a second. And you can see here's their first view, which is that first window, and this is their second view. Now, between the example application and the example, and then in the application I'm using or making here, um, there's really nothing different. It's got all the same stuff. Um, I looked at this interface thing here, and they have nothing checked. Okay. So I choose the same thing. There is nothing checked. Um, I've selected tabs here. Just like uh, they have. Unless I'm supposed to do the same thing for the iPad. Maybe that's it. Maybe I have to do iPad screen. I have to do the same thing. Maybe that's it. Let's see. Okay. And let's go back to the iPhone. No, it's the same thing. You must select a view for tab one. But it says tab zero. It doesn't even give you a chance to set up tab one. See? Tab. You would just assume it would just take all the views and put them in tabs. Um, or allow you to do that here in the edit panel. Oh, it's not even allowing me to edit anymore. Oh, here we go. Like this is their example. Unless it's supposed to match, maybe it's supposed to match this. I don't know. Let me see. I do that. It'd be kind of dumb if it had to match it, but. Well, that just keeps adding one. Yeah, so really there's no way to say I want this to be a tab panel too. Um, but on this one, it works. So their example works. There is absolutely no code whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that's the same. Wait, maybe this interface no see so try to figure this out I, I thought I finally figured it out after three hours of trying to figure it out not a ch not a chance so you can see that um, they kind of left us hanging here um, you know, some of the stuff like a button stuff like that that's pretty simple to figure out but when you're trying to get into a tab panel and I mean even their basic information this is what here our tab bar or they call it a tab bar it doesn't tell you how to use any of this. Um, it just gives you a general overview of what a tab bar is. Well, come on, we know what a tab bar is. How do we use it? Um, so, 
I'm still trying to figure it out. I would like to give a demo on this, but as you can see, this is pretty much my demo. Um, very vague to no information on how to use uh, the iOS. Um, trying to add something as simple as a tab panel uh, just doesn't work. I, I don't really even understand it. They did give us an example of a tab bar example, and based upon this example, I still can't figure it out. I still can't figure out how they're doing it. They're doing it with no code whatsoever. Um, the inspector gives us no information to how they're doing it. So, I really have no idea really what they're doing uh, or how they're doing it. I also would like to figure out how to add a toolbar. Good luck on that one. That's about the same about the same confusing thing. Toolbar, tab bar, there is no information. They have an example that really tells you no, really doesn't tell you how they did it. Um, I still can't figure out how they did it. I assumed it was from this screen layout panel, but um, you know, I just did that and it's not I mean, if I must have changed one of these to two, nope. What's the newest error? Still has nothing for tab one. Well, it's one of the other views, you moron. <laughs> so there's obviously some special trick here that you have to pull off, but um, there's really no information on how to do this or any information included with Zojo. So, um, this is like really the first or second day they've released this, and uh, Zojo for the most part for Mac OS X, Linux, Windows, even their web interface, it's pretty simple. It's really easy, you should be able to make an application in no time. Uh, their iOS, very confusing, it kind of left us with no information, very vague. Um, just trying to figure out the basics. Um, not as simple as you would think. So, um, they definitely need a little bit more time to get themselves uh, together and come up with some information on how to use this. Thanks for watching. Bye.